Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video where I will be showing how we can uh, still load a volume and then parse the contents of the volume and uh, like analyze the volume even if the disk structure or the disk layout is corrupted. So I created uh, two disks, one with uh, an MBR uh, disk layout and another one with a GPT layout. So it's just to show that it really doesn't matter. So if I go first, I want to show you the, the case we have. We have this is my drive which is in a uh, non-corrupted state so we can see this is the uh, the MBR layout and if I for example go to view and then go to templates and then apply the template here even if it says no we can see that this is by the way uh, it, it parsed the layout for us and we can see that uh, this is where all of the details about the uh, the disk the first uh, sorry the first volume within this drive or within this disk uh, and uh, so this is a, a normal disk, no, nothing wrong with it. But and if we go to specialist and then say interpret uh, image file as disk, it will be able to uh, now interpret it as a disk. And we can see it now shows me that I have uh, an NTFS file system. If I double click on this, I can now navigate the file system and definitely start analyzing the file system in here or whatever files I need to do be dealing with. But what I did is I actually corrupted this drive. So I'm going to go to this one, which is the edited version. And as you can see here, what I did is I overwrote the first 10, 24 bytes uh, just to make sure that the disk has been corrupted. Now, there are multiple ways to fix this, but I'm going to just show one easy trick or one easy way to work around this and still be able to uh, load your volume within like X-Ways or whatever the other tool and uh, navigate through the file system and analyze it. So if I go to specialist, interpret image file as disk, you can see it's going to tell me, uh, I'm going to tell it this is a disk and it has a bytes per sector, which is 512 and click OK. You can see it was not able to identify that. Now, if I go also to my my hex editor and if I load the drive, so where is the edited version? Yep, this one. And if I go to hex, we can see that these are all the bytes that have been overwritten. Now, the, the, the solution here in, or in this trick I want to show is really easy. All we need to do is rip the uh, take away the let's say the disk partition layout and just leave it as a, as if we are dealing with a volume especially if let's say you go here you navigate you in this gap between let's say the the the, the first start or the beginning of the disk or the drive and wherever the volume is located if you don't find any data here then probably there is nothing there this is just a space or a, a drive gap or a partition gap so we can take we can get rid of it okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to search for NTFS, if we uh, now you might say, oh, but but you know that this is an NTFS. It has an NTFS uh, file system on it. Yeah, definitely you will be doing some keyword search. So NTFS, or if it's a FAT file system, then probably using uh, FAT keyword, etc. You just need to find where exactly does this uh, volume start. So in our case, uh, an easy search showed us that uh, this is where it's located. Okay, uh, this is where the output is. Or let me just not do an so we can see that this is where the volume or where our we found uh, where this starts, the NTFS. So I know that this is a, an NTFS uh, volume boot record and these are the jump instructions for the volume boot record. Now what I can do from here is go, go all the way up. If I select that, I, I by the way clicked on shift and navigated all the way up and click uh, then press the delete button. And now if I save this, so if I save as and say, I'm going to do this as solution two. Uh, there are other ways, like I said, uh, to solve this problem. Uh, I have, I will be showing a lot of different uh, ways to solve uh, disks and partition layouts in the uh, Cyber 5W uh, uh, Certified Digital Forensic Analyst or CCDFA. Uh, so there are lots of that going to be done, especially, uh, I would say manually. I'm going to show how to do this manually, like you're seeing now in this case. And now, so now we have this volume. We can see we have, we can have, we have this volume. I don't have a lot of data in it because it's just for testing uh, purposes. But now if I go to my X-Ways and if I load uh, the file now again, so if I get the solution, okay, and now we can see this. 
if I go to specialist and say interpret image uh, file as disk, now I can navigate the, the volume. Same thing, by the way, if I go to FTK. Sorry, let me remove all of these. I don't want to, by mistake, I added them. Uh, just give me a second. My mistake that I uh, clicked on this button, which loads all the volumes and drives which are attached currently to the system, and I don't want to do that. Uh, let's see. Let's probably just terminate FTK. Shouldn't be doing this, but I, that's what you get when you do some mistakes. Okay, can I load? Just like another. FTK imager. Let's see if I can load another instance of it. Okay, let me pause the recording. So we got rid of FTK Imager, great. So let me run this again. And now if we go to add the, uh, the image, the corrupted one, let me show you. So the corrupted image here, when we load it, again, uh, FTK will not be able to identify that, similar to X-Ways or even any other tool. If I go now and load the, the solution one, with the one we solved, solution two, and uh, now we can see that we are able to identify that this has an NTFS file system and I can navigate uh, without any problems uh, in here. So that's it for this video. Uh, I, like I said, I will be recording another one for GPT, uh, another disk which is corrupted, really same technique. And I'll be going over a lot of how to fix uh, disks and uh, partition layouts and all of that. Uh, and the uh, Cyber 5W Certified Digital Forensic Analyst, plus many more other th uh, things, uh, definitely. If there's, uh, if you have any questions or if you have any feedback, uh, please uh, don't hesitate to uh, share them with me. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.